Hello, everybody, and welcome back into Gamecock Central. Kendall Smith joined alongside of Wes Mitchell here to break down South Carolina's newest commit in the class of 2024. It is Michael Smith, a four star tight end out of Cavalry Day School in Savannah. Georgia. We got his profile right up there. The on three profile for Michael Smith, as you can see, 146 ranked player nationally, six ranked tight end in the country and the 23rd ranked player in the state of Georgia committed to South Carolina just earlier today. Our very own Chris Clark was there. So be sure to head over to GamecockCentral.com if you want to see more of that announcement ceremony. But Wes, this is a big time commit for South Carolina, yet another four star in the class of 2024. What do you have to say about a player like Michael Smith and what he could bring to South Carolina? Yeah, let's start right there. Another four-star, and then we'll dive into the film and we'll dive into who he is as a player. But I, I think first and foremost, Kendall, the momentum that Beamer and company have been able to start to build in this class. As you know, Dante Reno getting it started, that feels like it was 10 years ago. He's been sort of the ringleader of this class. A lot of that work by the staff and by Reno himself starting to pay off. You're seeing it this week. Two commits, Kendall, in the last three days. Cam Pringle on Sunday, as we talked about. Then, of course, today, Michael Smith, both four stars. You got Wendell Gregory's commitment coming up on Friday. I don't know if I can remember a time when South Carolina started a class with, with what would be four four-star prospects, currently number eight in the country. I got a feeling if they can get Gregory on Friday, they're going to start to push for top five status as far as starting out this class. So a really good get for South Carolina. Anytime you're talking about a four-star kid, top 150 overall in the country, top 10 at the tight end position, that own three consensus that they see on the screen right there. For people who don't know, that's basically an industry average. So that's own three, 24 seven rivals ESPN. That's the average ranking for all of them. If you're top 10 at your position in the country, then you're a pretty daggum good player. Yes, Wes. And you know, for South Carolina, as you mentioned, getting the momentum here as they continue with this 2024 class. And Michael Smith is a great ad, not just for this class, but for a tight ends room that we've seen completely flip over the last month or so. South Carolina picking up a ton of new players. You're going to see a ton of new faces over the next year or so. And then obviously beyond that in the tight ends room, it's a an area of the team that people were a little bit concerned about not too long ago. But now you add a guy like Michael Smith to the mix. And what does he bring to the table, Wes? Yeah, so as you said, they've really flipped this room. They lost Jaheim Bell. We know... Um, you know, they lost Austin Stogner for this coming season. Not that Michael Smith would affect this. Again, this is a 2024 prospect. So you're talking about him having another year of high school ball to develop, to get bigger, to get stronger. But as we turn on the film, I mean, this is a wide receiver skill set, basically, in a tight end body. They always tell recruits, put your best plays first. And I think you get a great idea of who he is as a player right when you turn on the film. He's in the end zone, laying out for passes, making catches down the field. As you see here, they they move him around quite a bit. They're going to put him in the slot. They're going to line him up outside. They are going to line him up at times attached to the line like a more traditional tight end. But let, let's make no mistake. This is a modern tight end. He's going to be much more comfortable in the passing game, making plays down the field. You see him breaking off a long catch and run here. And I, I really just like the ball skills, the hands, above average speed. He's listed, depending on where you look, 6'4", 6'5", 225 pounds. Again, I think there's a frame there to continue to add muscle. But if you're Dow Loggins, if you're Jody Wright, if you're looking at just adding playmakers to your tight end room, then this kid is certainly that. And I, I think when you sort of pair him up with some of the guys they already have in that room, it's a really nice fit. And a great kid by all indications. I hear South Carolina is very excited to have him. And – I think there's a lot of upside to go. This is not a ready-made player. A lot of what he's doing right now is just that he's a great athlete, as we talked about on the 107.5 show. Plays basketball as well, excels there. I think that's a good sign for guys. Anytime you're catching passes in football, there's a lot of translation to what you do in basketball as well. Hand-eye coordination, dexterity, 
overall athleticism, leaping ability, explosiveness, all those things carry over. So I think Gamecock fans have a right and a reason to be extremely excited here about the addition of Michael Smith. And, you know, he is 2024, so he's only a junior in high school right now, as you mentioned, Wes. I think some people get a little nervous when they see that, these guys committing a little bit earlier. They still have some school left to go, some time before they sign that national letter of intent. But I think with a lot of the guys that Shane Beamer has been signing and, you know, guys that have been committing to the program, they have shown that they are committed and that they're all in. And we haven't seen a lot of flips or a lot of decommits during the Shane Beamer era. So with this class, how scary do you think this class could be by the time it's all said and done? Because I think it could be one of the best we have seen in years, Wes. Yeah, it's really early, Kendall, but I cannot remember them being off to a start like this, both in terms of the the quantity you're starting to see and mainly the quality, right? Like the fact that all four of the first four commitments, if they get Gregory on Friday, would be four-star guys. And then I can look ahead from that. I think they're in great shape with Josiah Thompson. Uh, Mazio Bennett actually went on the record today with on threes Chad Simmons and said South Carolina is his number one school right now. So uh, there's a public, you know, him naming them publicly number one. Um, you know, so that's that's two other four-star guys that are both in state. Blake Franks at Greenville High School, he's a high three-star guy. I think South Carolina has made a major move with him. So you're talking about really owning the state of South Carolina, which I think is a big priority for Shane Beamer and company. That's a great start. But all these guys are highly rated players. So, um, you know, I, I think – the momentum is there, and now we're going to find out if South Carolina can do everything we just talked about. Does that maybe, Kendall, give them momentum with some other guys? We know, I mean, you know as well as anybody, these kids are more interconnected than ever before. They pay attention. They follow each other on Twitter. They go to the same camps. 10, 15 years ago, maybe that wasn't the case, but all these guys are connected at this point. You're going to see South Carolina get mentioned more and more nationally by the recruiting services as having a great start to the class. So what does that do to maybe open the door for some other players? I think it's something for Gamecock fans to keep an eye on. This has the makings. It's, it's a long way to go, but this has the makings to potentially be Shane Beamer's best class since he got to South Carolina. And of course, a big part of that is just now having room to have been at South Carolina long enough. You've had a lot of continuity with this staff as well where these relationships are not just one year, but now two years out. And I think that goes a long way. And beating out schools like Ohio State, when you talk about Michael Smith, that was one of his top three schools, Cam Pringle on Sunday, South Carolina, beat out Clemson to get him. So they're winning these big boy recruiting battles that they need to win if they want to have elite recruiting classes year in and year out. So exciting times for South Carolina. Picking up Michael Smith today. He committed earlier this afternoon. He is a four-star tight end in the class of 2024 out of Savannah, Georgia. We'll have more for you on GamecockCentral.com. You don't want to miss out on any of it, so be sure to check us out over there and then follow us on our social media at Gamecock Central. I think we're going to have some more exciting news coming up in the coming big week. News. Kendall, let me interrupt you and just say, I'm loving that you use my phrase. Big boy recruiting battle, trademark. <laughs> it's one of my You're favorite phrases. Off on me. Yes, this is okay. definitely You're big boy me. recruiting. Great start for the Gamecocks. And be excited, fans. It could, it could be a massive week for South Carolina. You heard it here first. GamecockCentral.com. We've got you with plenty more. Wes and I will be back later on and we'll chat with you about more Gamecock news as it comes. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. Have a great rest of your Tuesday. He's Wes Mitchell. I'm Kendall Smith, and this has been another Commitment Breakdown here on Gamecock Central.